this is the first time that we report data from uh, anti-lag tree. The first anti-lag tree that we have in the clinic from a phase one trial. You know that several times we discussed it about a new possible uh, target for the checkpoint inhibitor. Lag tree is one of these. And this is important uh, for the primary resistance as well as for uh, the secondary resistance. So lag tree may be upregulating both these cases and uh, may be responsible for resistance. In preclinical model, we have seen that the combination of anti lag 3 with nivolumab uh, can enrich, uh, can increase the response. So, in this phase one trial, we treated 202 patients in uh, all solid, uh, solid tumors, different cohorts. Here we are reporting data about the cohort of advanced melanoma uh, Previously treated with anti PD1, PDL1. 55 patients were enrolled. We have the data for 52 patients previously treated uh, with uh, anti PD1, PDL1. The data are uh, really interesting. If you look to the uh, baseline characteristic, uh, the majority of patients, 76%, are heavily protected patients. And uh, the 54% of these patients were also treated with anti PDL4. So, you know, for this kind of patient, several times, we have uh, no other option. And in this group of patients, we, we get a response rate in an inter-to-treat population of 13%. It is not so bad if we consider the characteristic of these core two patients. But the, the most interesting uh, uh, data, if you look at the six patients where we had a partial response, three patients were in the group of patients who had a previous response to anti PD1, but two patients in the refractory. We had in this cohort of patients 40% of patients that had progression disease as the best response to previous treatment with anti PD1. So these are, you know, the refractory patients. And two of these responses are this kind of patient. This means that we can have also uh, an impact of this uh, combination in patients who failed previously immunotherapy. So this combination can also uh, restore the sensitivity to immunotherapy, maybe.